by their allies. South Korean President Moon Jae-in says he's perplexed at Donald Trump's decision to cancel an upcoming summit with Kim Jong-un. North Korea, meanwhile, says it's willing to talk to the U.S. at any time following Trump's letter in which he blamed the cancellation on, quote, open hostility. For more on the story is Bruce Harrison from Seoul, the South Korean capital. Bruce, tell us more about South Korea's reaction to the cancellation of this summit. The latest we've heard from Seoul, a statement from South Korean President Moon Jae-in's top security advisor saying that the only way for North Korea and the U.S. Uh, to get past this impasse, per se, is for them to communicate directly. The leaders of those countries need to communicate directly. It didn't explicitly say what that communication would be, whether that's a phone call or simply it's just urging, urging them to hold this summit. A Moon's government has long maintained the position that the U.S. and North Korea need to meet in order for there to be peace. But it's unclear at this time what kind of strategy the U.S. could bring to the table in a meeting that would actually convince North Korea to give up its nuclear weapons. Now, regarding a public reaction, obviously, at this university nightlife district, there doesn't seem to be a lot of fear, despite what President Trump said in his letter to Kim, warning that he has a much larger nuclear arsenal and he's willing to use it. But I have talked to a lot of folks across the city today, and they were reminded of 2017 when Trump was threatening war on the Korean Peninsula. And there was a lot of inconsistencies. And now, once again, they're hearing threats of war, and they're wondering if they can trust their longtime ally in dealing with this threatening issue on the peninsula. Bruce, where does uh, this lead north-south relations? I think President Moon Jae-in is going to continue the plan he has laid out. Now that military exercises between the U.S. and South Korea have ended, which angered the North Koreans, I think Moon hopes they'll probably begin working level talks again at the border to try and implement some of the policies the two leaders agreed to at their DMZ border meeting last month. Uh, beyond that, uh, perhaps President Moon Jae-in could raise the, the, the question of holding family re reunions or possibly even more broadly economic incentives between the two countries, maybe starting with some tourist activity. I think it's far too soon to go in that direction. But Moon has to chip away somehow. And I think the more and more he tries to convince the North Koreans to meet and start un unveiling this grand uh, peace strategy they developed last month, it may convince the United States that there is room to negotiate further. Bruce Harrison reporting live there from Seoul. Thank you so much for joining us. A possible mole in France's spy network. Two former French